Peggy 3. Sega. It's Sonic CD. I brought with me some old sketches from Sonic CD. Since this title was going to be for the newly introduced Mega CD hardware, we wanted to give it a different touch. So with the logo, you'll see that we used a gold color combined with textured material, but at the same time retained the pop feeling and style. We introduced the world of Sonic CD in the opening sequence, where you see the planet start to shake. Dr. Eggman seizes control of the planet, and your mission is to save it. One of the new and important characters introduced in Sonic CD is Metal Sonic and I designed him based on the concept that he was Sonic's fateful rival. In order for Metal Sonic, who is a robot, to have the ability to move as fast as Sonic, we came up with several ideas, but ultimately landed with a design based on a jet engine. Similar to a drag racer, the high-powered engine would allow him to blast away at high speeds. When the two are running side by side, I didn't want both to have the same movement. So as Metal Sonic picks up speed and hits a certain point, his motion changes, as if he's flying in air, barely touching the surface of the ground. There is another character who makes an appearance. It's Amy Rose, and this is the illustration of her. You can see her profile from various angles, and when looking at her from the back, the number of spikes is different from Sonic. This is the image illustration of Sonic and Amy, where it shows the relationship between the two. Amy views Sonic as her knight and is obsessed with him, but he isn't interested in her affection. I think that emotion is captured in this piece. One of the big features in Sonic CD is traveling to the past and the future. For those scenes, I drew inspiration from various films, books, artwork, and illustrations, including Back to the Future. As Sonic starts running and gains momentum, lights and sparks fly, and he's taken to a different time period. I tried to show that in this piece here. So here we have the various robots, Dr. Eggman's creation and enemies in Sonic CD. Many designs were based on insects and bugs such as cicadas, ladybugs, a bee, a basket worm. They tend to have a very cute style. I don't remember if we ended up using these. They look like early sketches. These are the flowers that grow on the planet. Dr. Eggman steals the energy from these flowers and uses them to charge his various robot enemies. So the idea is that by defeating the enemies, the energy will be released, returning to the ground, and the plants will grow back. We also have here some sketches of the boss characters. Dr. Eggman is inside these mechs, and he appears in every stage acting as a boss. We wanted to make sure the boss designs complemented the design of the stage. This one here says round eight boss. And I think we had this one too. And this one from earlier. As for the various stages, this is the final stage where Dr. Eggman's face is carved into a gigantic mountain. We also experimented with various colors. For example, color palettes for specific stages or colors we thought would be fitting for the future scenes. These are the sketches showcasing those ideas, such as this one, the rainbow-colored waterfall, which we thought would be interesting and fun. We also had some special stages. In one stage, Sonic must destroy the UFOs flying around in the sky. Up until that point, we all enjoyed playing and controlling Sonic from a side view, but this was the first time we would show him from a different angle. In the end, when you clear the stage, there's a sign that twirls. If Sonic is successful, you see this thumbs up sign, and this other sketch is when you are not successful, a thumbs down. Well, I think that's about it. Hopefully you'll pick up on these things in game.